You already know what it is. It's your brother, your brother, Virgil Berry, a.k.a. Stats with the Facts, man. And we here, man. Tap in and walk with us, man. Smash that like button, click on the bell, subscribe to the page. A.K.A. Stats with the Facts And y'all know y'all tapped in and tuned in To another episode of Hey, Real Talk Podcast Pre-recorded situation First things first, as always All praises be to the most high God Yeshua Hamashiach Smash that like button, click on the bell Subscribe to the page And of course, share on your social engineer You know, I haven't made a pre-recorded in a minute So, I'm, you know, I'm getting back to it, man And uh, today uh episode uh is very much needed man uh, when cooning goes wrong getting your black wake up call so to speak you know what i mean i really don't speak on other content creators that much often because i just don't you know but when it comes to situations like this with this guy uh it needs to be spoken on as much as possible and from as many different perspectives as possible now, I personally got respect for Tommy Sotomayor to the extent that uh, he is definitely one of the pioneers in the content creating space on YouTube. Uh, I will never take that away from him and uh, got to give him his props for that, right? He was the first one to really like be monetized and to really show that it can money can be made from this and you can expand it to different things with got going on, and I, I, like I said, I give respect when it's good, but God damn, man, the lengths that some of y'all will be willing to go through, go to, just to be lit, just to be popping, just to be famous, all right, now, this guy, I ain't gonna talk about none of the past stuff, we're talking about this situation right here, and this is why I tell y'all we need to be on code. But you can't expect guys like Tommy to be on code. They have been so scorned and scarred by their experience as a black person that they think the only way that they could become successful is to behave in a way that Tommy does. And there's a lot of people like him. But this recent situation, when he went on Richard Spencer's show, See, this is what's wrong with y'all dudes, man. And they love y'all, but they hate y'all. See, they'll use y'all to the extent that they can. And as long as it's to their benefit and your detriment. But as soon as you try to buck back, challenge them, question them, bring to light or awareness any of their misgivings or mistakes or any of the things that they are responsible for. And I'm talking about the mainstream media. Which is sad to say is predominantly white. But owned by predominantly youths, right? So you go on the platform, you, you you on platforms like YouTube, which is ran by the same people. And they allow you to become popular, but you have become so belligerent and so blatantly disrespectful and just too much shock and awe with your content that you just get literally booted from the, the platform. Right? And from that success, you get invited from time to time to come on mainstream platforms, but it's to do one thing and one thing only, and that's to denigrate not only your people, but yourself as well. At the expense of your integrity and your image. Just trying to gain favor with these people. And they spank you on your ass, pause, like they did a couple days ago when you came to Richard Spencer's show, thinking you was gonna be kiki and the shoo shi and foo fooing with them people, man. That man sat up there and told you you don't belong here, man. Well, uh, I'm not like Tariq Nasheed and like these other pro blacks. Oh, yes, boss. I'm boss. I'm not like the. I'm not like the field work boss. I was a house there, boss. I, I was good to you, boss. You was good to me, boss. Looking ass boy. Straight. Sambo ass dude, man. And look how they do you. It just, it reminds me of the song by the Neville's Brothers, man. It just use you up, right? You just got treated like a thot, man. 
They treated you like you was a straight trainer, man. Huh? Treated you like you was a straight bust down, man. You know? Like you was straight ski, scuzz, butt. Like, man, you just come through the spot. Straight strawberry. Right? That's how they played you, Tommy, man. They played you like that. Disrespected you in your face. Basically said, nigga, you ain't wanted here. You don't deserve to be here. We don't care how much you disparage your own people. We don't care about any of that. You don't belong here. Get back out on the field. Want to be house nigga ass dude. Listen here, yo, this is going to be the outcome for Tommy and anybody like Tommy. This is what standing on code is the opposite of. Now you can't allow your personal experience as a black person, as traumatic as it may be, we all been through it. You cannot allow you to let you get you so off code to where you make a career and try to gain favor with the so-called oppressors by disparaging, disrespecting, talking crazy about painting the most negative images you could. Some of them true, some of them just outright just crazy. At the expense, of your people just to gain favor with them? What you thought you was gonna go over there and they was gonna glad hand you, man? You thought they was gonna let you talk crazy to their loud, to some of their loudest microphones? You thought they was gonna let you do that? Seriously, Tommy? You thought that you thought you was gonna go over there and have a fair say so? You thought you was gonna be treated different because you are not like Tariq Nishid and other pro blacks? You're not like Dr. Umar. You thought that, man? That's crazy, man. You get what you deserve, bro. And everybody on YouTube, especially us black folks who are doing, getting on code, we need to talk about this and speak on this from our perspective. This is exactly what being on code does not look like. This is the results of not being on code with each other. How y'all can let a guy like Tommy slip in, pause, and do what he's doing, and now you wanna come crawling back. Uh, I want to just apologize to all the black... Nah, nah, bruh. Uh-uh. We don't accept your apology. Apology denied. Black car revoked. Remember when Dave Chappelle did the, 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 the race, uh, 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 got them a draft? <laughs> Remember he made a skit about that? Nah, I think that's some real life stuff, man. We gotta... We, we, we can't... We can't have guys like Tommy Sotomayor... These guys, uh, when I say they can't have no microphone, I'm not saying to silence them. I'm not saying to censor them. I'm not saying to demean or diminish anything they say. What I'm saying is to stop supporting them. Stop giving them microphones. Stop stop entertaining them. Stop asking them on the show. Stop even speaking to them. Speaking about them. That's what we need to start doing. If you're not contributing to the betterment of us as a whole in your own little niche way and you think you're going to come in here and talk crazy about us and uh, and try to capitalize off of our so-called alleged perceived demise and you think once these people show you that you just like the rest of us when you thought you wasn't you think you're going to come back we're going to accept with open arms no, them days are done over with it's really shit man Y'all know what Harriet Tubman did. Y'all seen what allegedly Nat Turner did. And I say allegedly. That's another topic for another day. Tommy, man, we love you, bro. I love you as a brother, as a black man. I don't care that about your popular Cuba. You know, like, you get black. And I think it got proven to you on a Richard Spencer situation. Now, this be an exercise in a uh, game for uh, up and coming content creators who would ever be the threshold of crossing over the so called independent alternative media to the mainstream media and being asked or invited to come on one of these mainstream platforms. How to handle yourself when you're dealing with these people. You see how they talk to you, you see how they paint pictures, use words. They're trained professionals. Game, you better be a trained professional. Clearly, Tommy is not. It's time.
talented as he is, as intelligent to some extent as he is, I will never take that away from him. He's not gay. He's not ganged up. He's a gay goofy Gilligan, as my brother Red Supreme TV was. He's a goofy. He's emotional. He's something like a broad. Get on code, man. Slowly but surely, man. Y'all have a good evening.